Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Divine Feminine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So, if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards up right in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with every single Divine Feminine. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests, where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the content is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch it on the way out. Hit that link. You'll be back in town. And thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you, too. Divine Feminine, uh, you're about to learn a lesson about some money. Okay? In a good way or a bad way. I don't know. Okay? It could be a, a good way as far as um, you invested it what well and wisely and shit and you get a return on your investment it's like damn okay I, I get how this is working or somebody's about to like somebody's gonna learn a lesson about overspending or being codependent on someone i don't know if that's you with somebody else but somebody here is about to learn a lesson about some money okay there uh yeah some of you guys may be asked at your job to like do something for the free free g tell them no okay i don't do shit for the free free or it's not in my job description so some of y'all's jobs gonna ask you to like train somebody or do some extra work i'm telling you ain't gonna get paid for it but they gonna try to make it out like it's your responsibility and the fuck it is no it ain't shit uh i ain't a trainer shit uh or i would have trained myself when i got hired motherfucker <laughs> that didn't happen so no this is like you uh being taken away from your work to help somebody else or some shit something like that it could be cutbacks at your job and they just you know uh, overworking all the employees and shit. Having y'all do shit like not even at your station or your stand or your post or that's not what you do, okay? That's for somebody. Now, I keep hearing that men, 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 manly men. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, men. Something about men, girl. Okay, that's all I've been picking up on lately is men. Now, this could be just you're attractive and men are attracted to you. This could be that you work with a lot of men or you work in a male-dominated uh, career field. You could have a lot of brothers. Uh, you could be into, like, uh, fitness or something. Or some of you guys just get along with men more. Uh, as far as, you know, like, uh, you may be hanging out with more men than women. I've always been like that, though. I've never really hung out with women. Y'all are the first group of women I've ever really connected with, and it's online. But in the physical, I've always hung out with men more than women. So it could be something like that, divine feminine. I don't know. Where maybe men feel comfortable with you. I don't know. Maybe you remind men of a man. And not that you look like a man, but it's like... It's like sometimes when I'll be uh, hanging out with my homeboys or whatever, and they'll just start talking about... Like, or they'll say my nigga to me, you know what I mean? And I'm like, it, it, it's, it's the term of endearment. But, you know, I know that they forget. Sometimes I'll be like, girl, and it'll be my homeboy. And I'm like, my bad, not girl. But, you know, <laughs> you know, like you just be chopping it up and I'll be forgetting and shit. Like, yeah, you're not a girl, you a boy. Right? Like, you know, like you're not my homegirl, you my homeboy. And I feel like they're like, you're not my homeboy, you my homegirl. But I forget. It's just like no gender. That's what this feels like. Uh, I don't know. Something like that, girl. People just may be gravitating towards you because of who you are. Nothing to do with how you look, what's between your legs, or none of that shit. It's just like really, uh, you're a good person. But something about your masculine energy, for sure. Men may be gravitating towards it. And not that they like men, but it could be the masculine side of you. Like the way you work. The way you handle business. You know, that could be what's attracting men or, yeah, attracting men to you or some shit like that. I don't know, girl. Somebody's name is Nicole. Someone's name is Ray. I got what you want. Got what you need. Yeah, I feel like you about that business. This is like somebody, uh, like you bring shit to the table. Okay? It's how they're making me feel. Like you could sit with the with, with the best of them. Like uh, they're showing me like a board table with a bunch of men and you sitting there. 
okay? Or something like that, girl. I don't know. It's like you have something to bring. Remember how Lucy Lou was in Kill Bill? And she chopped that man head off and that shit rolled down the table. And she said, does anybody have any other fucking questions and shit? And everybody like, I guess you the boss, bitch. It's kind of like that, girl. So I don't know. Maybe you run something and a, a bunch of men work under you. I don't know. Uh, some shit like that. Yeah, they showing me the mama on uh, Power. But the mama on the one where, what's the one with uh, the little boy, 50 Cent? The one that's supposed to be 50 Cent. Canaan, yeah, Book of Canaan. They showing me his mama. Yeah, so I don't know y'all running dope in the city. What y'all what y'all doing? But she had brothers. Yeah, she had brothers that she worked with and shit, and they like, you know, you know, if y'all watch power and shit. It's giving me this type of energy. Something about your power, your strength, or your name, girl, or something that you do. I don't know. Or some power that you carry. Girl, I don't know. Let's see. Give me some messages for Divine Feminine, how she'll be feeling about herself and the energy she's going to be in in the next seven days. Y'all, I saw was power and money and men, girl. Okay? Power, money, and men. I don't know if that's the model you live by. It sounds kind of dangerous, right? But I feel you, though. Okay? Let's move on. Give me some messages here. Yeah, so this is the like in those jeans, like a uh, family connections. I heard, man, what the hell is y'all into? I heard mob ties, whatever. Some of y'all could just be Italian, or you know, they got other mafias and shit. Uh, everybody be talking about the Italian one, but it's damn show sure other ones. Uh, okay, uh, so I don't know. That's what I picked up on, like Armenian or I don't know, Moroccan, or some old crazy ass shit. So I don't know what you into, girl, what your family into. Are you and your husband or your man or your brother or what? Okay? But this is you connecting with somebody like uh, in those genes. It may not be necessarily family, but this could be somebody who thinks like you, moves like you. I told you, it's like a no gender. I told you, I, t I call my homeboy girl sometimes. He'd be like, what the fuck? And I'd be like, my bad, homie, right? And then he'd be like, my nigga. And I'm like, huh? I mean, even though that's a little bit easier for me to handle than me calling him girl. But you know what I'm saying. You know? Or he'll start talking to me about like a... This like my, one of my homeboys talking to me about some woman. Right? And sometimes it makes me uncomfortable. Like, well, I feel where she coming from. But he forgets that I'm a woman. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting there because we're friends. We're more connected. So he talking to me like I'm a man about a woman. And I'm sitting here like, but you're wrong. <laughs> you know? I'm sitting here like, what? I don't know. Some of y'all are just tight with some people like that, or tight, like where they forget who they're talking to, possibly, or you make people feel like that, but in a good way, like comfortable, you know? So this could be like someone else's kid confiding in you, you know what I mean? Because they feel like you're their mother or you're their father type shit. They don't look at it like, well, I came out of my mother's vagina, so that's my mom. Now someone gravitates toward, towards who has the motherly energy. It's this type of shit. I feel like you hold some energy like that. It may, not, it may be motherly. I don't know. Shit, you could, uh, I don't know what you do, girl. I just know uh, men are gravitating towards you wanting to connect to your ass, okay? Like I had said. In the next seven. Mano y mano. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got a mafia too. Mm -hmm. Something about a Latin mafia and all this shit. What are y'all into, Divine Feminine or T? What's up, girl? Don't answer me. Don't answer me. Okay? Give me another one. Yeah, I don't know what y'all into, G. I'll be fresh as hell if the feds watching y'all is what I had heard. Okay? So somebody being monitored. Okay, by some feds, okay? I don't know what's going on, okay? Side note, but this is somebody watching to see who you end up with, what man you end up with. But it's it's two and a half men, maybe one is short, shorter than the other ones, I don't know. But it's something about multiple men, girl, okay? There's the half right there. There's one, two and a half men. Uh -huh. I told you, man. I told you, girl. They're watching you. Maybe this could be, this little kid could represent somebody way younger than you, girl. Got their eyes on your ass. You know? Uh, how the young ones think you they age and shit. And you be like, boy, how old are you? And then you laugh at them. Like, you could be my son. <laughs> Bye, kid. This type of shit. Uh, some of these uh, men are way young. They're, they're men, but they're younger than you. But you look good. But I feel like you're destined to be with somebody. 
period. This is like, a, this. these people almost look alike to me. And I always say whoever you end up being with, I feel like you and that person look alike for some reason. I don't know why. Or you guys favor or something about you and that person looks alike, okay? Maybe that's what people are going to say. Like, damn, they, they kind of look alike and shit. So I don't know. Or something about a brother and a sister. Somebody could be watching a bro you if you have a brother or a divine masculine, you got a sister or some shit, or you're married. Someone's watching a couple. It doesn't mean that the couple is romantically involved, but someone's watching a couple of people for sure. Very hard. Uh, mostly the woman. Maybe one could be sent to one and one could be sent to the other. So you see how the man is pointing? He could be telling the little boy, go watch the man and I'll watch the woman. This type of shit. Some of y'all be a monitor, uh, divine feminine, divine masculine. But divine feminine, you for sure. I just don't know. This could be your baby daddy girl watching you. Okay? And you with a whole nother motherfucking man. And it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck, y'all? Wow, girl. Okay? Or having your kid report back to him. Yeah, I've been getting reporting live from the gutter. Yeah. I'll buy this motherfucker. It's not even a discussion. Yeah, is what I had heard. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody trying to... It feels like men competing for you, but you don't even know that, <laughs> Divine Feminine. Or some of you guys do. I don't know. This could be a silent competition. I don't know. Okay? But this could be some man uh, asking the kid and shit, who was over at your mama house last night? Who, who your mama been hanging out with lately? Like, well, there's this guy named Daryl that comes over. It's like this type of shit. Girl, for y'all that got chill around with some crazy motherfucking stupid ass man, okay? That you know just ain't got no life. Okay, and just spy on your ass constantly or just nosy, girl. Damn, this man could wear hoodies or baseball caps, the spying man. Okay, or like um, athletic gear all the time, like workout clothes or some shit, or jogging suits or some shit like that. This is the man that spy on you all the time. Girl. Some of y'all hanging out with somebody that you say is like your brother. Like, no, that's like my brother. Or somebody said, that's like my sister. And somebody watching that shit, like, it don't look like it, okay? So I don't know who that's for. But people don't believe that shit, okay? Anyway, give me another one. What we'll flipped over? Pouring out emotion. Yeah, somebody's uh, emotional watching you, girl. Hook up with someone else. I don't know if you got a look. Girl, okay, who is this? Now, this could be an old person that's reminiscing, reminisce on the love we had, right? And then they're like, damn, now she watching TV with another motherfucker. Like, who the fuck is that? Some of y'all uh, left somebody, Divine Feminine, or someone left you, but you were cool with that, G. You know, this like where it didn't work out between me and you, my baby's daddy, or my Divine Masculine, or some man and shit, and I moved on to someone else, or I'm dating other people. Somebody real tight about that shit, and they spying. For a lot of y'all, this is a child's father, okay? Or a child's mother, Divine Masculine, if you're watching, but this ain't your reading. I feel like for real, Divine Feminine, this is you, okay? If you don't have children with this man, this man just childish, okay? Uh, spying on your ass, okay? Um, okay, yeah, somebody watching you, your platform, if you have a, a social media or a page, a channel, something like that, it's a baby's daddy watching you. He could be with a whole nother woman girl right now and still feel like he running your house and shit. What kind of mother... Girl. 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 <laughs> Damn, no, don't do it. Anyway, um, yes, girl, Okay. Whoever this is, some of y'all could be hiding from this person. Like, you dodge this motherfucker. Like, Heisman pose. Like, boop, 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 boop. Right, this type of shit. It's like you see somebody hitting the corner, and you turn the other way. You know, or some shit like that. Whoever this is, I feel like you avoid this person. Or recently, uh, as of recently, you've been avoiding this person. It could be a friend as well, or a family member. But it's damn sure a masculine energy, you know? This person's family could be watching you as well. It's not, uh, damn, you got a whole crowd, bitch. A whole crowd of motherfuckers. You ain't, may not even do anything in the public eye because a lot of people don't. You know what I mean? But you might as fucking well, bitch, <laughs> okay? You might as well or, or, or sell tickets and shit. As many people watching your ass. Give her a ticket, sir. She's a fan, sir. Yeah. Can't keep her man off my Instagram, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I said your name could be, well, I said Nicole, but your name could be Nikki too. Yeah. She's a fan, sir. Or he's a fan, sir. Yeah, pretty much. In the next seven days. 
damn, somebody could be crying over you uh, right now or sad or emotion. This is also like intuition being poured out on someone. So somebody could know that you're dating someone new or that someone new is interested in you or you're interested in someone else. Whoever this is that's all up in you business, they make me feel like they didn't do shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, they keeping tabs on shit, but they never claim some shit. So it's like a window shopping person, you know, that pass by the window every day to see if some shit, uh, is still for sale and then somebody buys it and then they stalk the motherfucker that bought the shit. You know what I mean? Like, but you never put no money down on the shit, window shopper. You know what I mean? So now you're going to stalk the motherfucker that bought the actual item? Like, what kind of shit is this? Yeah. Somebody out here is a little off, G. Okay. So somebody missed out on a good thing and now they're... So it's like somebody stalking your new uh, boyfriend and shit or your new girlfriend and shit to see what y'all doing now. When this person had the option to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or whatever the fuck. It's like, I don't know, girl. Somebody's strange, okay? In the next seven days. They are. Some about hands and fingers. I'm just noticing hands, fingers, hands. It's some about phalanges. I picked up somebody's, uh, oh no, that was in the Patreon. No, was that, uh, no, that was Grab Bag Monday. Somebody's fingers was getting cut off. That might have been Patreon and somebody was mailing them to somebody's mama or somebody was writing a movie. Or I'm telling you, I'm picking up on some like mob mafia shit, like where somebody's like body part get cut off, G. Okay? Mm hmm. I'm also picking up on a search and rescue team or someone, uh, I can't remember what that man's name is, but he has like an organization where they go out and like look for missing people. It's like an older little white man and shit, kind of old, but he, it's a, he has like a business or a company or uh, something where people gather together and go out and like search the fields for missing people, children, women, men, whoever. So I don't know what that's about, okay? Some of y'all could just be watching missing people shows, shit. Mm hmm Alrighty then. Y'all sure always take it left and shit. It just be a lot of shit going on. There's something about a new connection, Divine Feminine, or a connection. Both of you are wheat. So, because this is my wheat card as well, but this man feeling like chaff. It's like, oh, wow, those two wheats came together. Like, somebody's feeling like chaff right now. Like, left out or stupid or some shit like that. But they didn't water this connection. They didn't uh, put no energy or nothing into it. No emotion, no love or nothing. And then I feel like uh, somebody else is coming that will or you're already with this person. And somebody regrets, I guess, not being the, the man connected to you. But I don't even feel like they regret it. This is like somebody that's just nosy to me, you know? This is like somebody that didn't really want you and shit. And now they see you happy with somebody else and then they spy on you. I don't understand what the fucking point is. This is somebody, it's like a job that didn't want to hire you. But then they keep calling your boss at your new job asking about how, how you're doing there. Why do you give a fuck? You didn't hire me, bitch. It's like this type of energy. Okay. This makes me feel like uh, whoever this is spying on you, they made a choice to separate from you. It doesn't make me feel like you did this. It's like, you know, like I was, you know, kind of forced to move on. Like you told me to get the fuck on before I got spit the fuck on, says Divine Feminine. So I left. I don't know if this person just thought you'd be single or wait on them or always want them and shit. Like after they told you, get out of here. Get you. Get. <laughs> right? This type of shit. You like bad, G. And you meet somebody else. Now somebody like, well, what the fuck? Like, didn't you tell me to get my fucking so I got? What the hell? I, you follow direction well. Divine feminine meaning, right? We don't stay anywhere where we're not wanted, G. You could take a fucking hit. Shit, that's what this is. Somebody told you get the fuck on. This literally could be a kid's father or, or some shit like that. Or somebody had a baby with somebody. Picked somebody else and was like, now you get the fuck on out of here, divine feminine. You like that, that, all right? I ain't that. And I feel like you meet your equal, though. And now this person's in here like, I can't believe this, this bitch went ahead and found somebody else better than me. Better than me. Yeah. It's making somebody emotional out here. Somebody's name could be Carl or Thomas G or Tommy or some shit like that. Yeah, I remember the way you used to love me. Mm-hmm. Somebody thought you was going to keep the faith in this shit. Okay. Like, what the fuck? I told you somebody was reminiscing though, but yeah, that's what's playing. I remember the way you used to love me. 
Yeah, because you used to be my man. I remember, motherfucker. And then you told me, get the fuck on. I remember. Very well, says Divine Feminine. I remember very well. I remember the way you used to love me, says Divine Feminine. And it wasn't good, G. Yeah, this some man, girl. That you separated from. It was a karmic relationship. A man that they turned into a karmic man. I said this. I don't know, girl. So shit. You used to love me. You used to walk holding my hand because you used to be my, because you used to be my man. I remember is what Faith has said. I remember, okay? It wasn't that great. Okay? Well, that ain't how the song went, but that's basically what's going on here. Let's move on now. Put something on the, they almost give me twin energy. And I don't, some of you guys could be twins, Divine Feminine. You can have a twin brother or a twin sister, fraternal or identical, okay? And people are starting to tell you, uh, tell the difference between you guys if you're identical you know fraternal you can obviously tell but identical maybe i mean shit it's a boy and a girl so then you could tell them too i don't know something like that something about you looking like someone or you look good with someone you and someone make a good looking couple but the person who's pointing out that you and someone make a good looking couple with somebody that you were in a couple with or you wanted to be with or some shit it feels romantic like the like both situations put some on the two people now with the with the jeans mature man told you it's a brand new sheriff in town told you girl okay who this okay this man could be from another country, state, city. Uh, this could be a long distance. This could be somebody you meet online, on the World Wide Web. Uh, this man is smart. Whoever this new one is, I've been picking up, I told you, men, 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 men. There's another one. I told you. Look, mature woman, mature man. I'm telling you, I feel like you found your match. Some of you guys could be 56, okay? Some of you guys could be in your golden years. Uh, or past uh, 50 plus Let's say that some of y'all about to be in a relationship Or some shit like that And somebody watching you Get in a relationship And I told you And there's some other man watching That's too old to be doing this shit Or it's a baby daddy or somebody you were married to Or in a relationship with Has some type of contract with Okay, this man emotional because I feel like this somebody who realizing, damn, I thought she was going to wait or this like somebody who uh, knew that you were the one or knew that they wanted to be with you like that. They planned for this. Like, no, I'm going to end up even this like somebody saying, I'm going to eventually end up with divine feminine. This person was very sure about this. This one in the middle with this kid. I'm pretty sure when I've sold my royal oats and fucked every bitch and done what I wanted to do and had all the fun and my dick goes limp, I'll go back to her. This like this type of motherfucker. You know, but meantime, in between time, we're going to have some fun. So get out of here. Scram, lady. Right? Says this man. And you're like, okay, bet. But you didn't do what this man thought you were going to do. Like, while he went out and did his thing, he thought you were going to, I don't know, sit at home and just drink water and read books and shit. I don't know what the fuck. Knit shirts and shit. I don't know what he thought you was going to do. But you damn sure ain't did that. Somebody else moved in on somebody else's. Well, I can't even say they moved in on someone else's shit. Somebody left the door open, G. Somebody was like, all right, nobody going to steal shit. Ain't nobody gonna take shit. So basically, ain't nobody gonna want her. Then nobody really looking at her. Or she's so in love with me, she ain't gonna leave me. Says this one in the middle here. She, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, nah. Somebody all the way wrong. Somebody all the way wrong. You and you gonna end up marrying uh, whoever this new person is, or being in like a uh, like a, a heavily committed relationship. Like y'all ain't going nowhere. Okay, when y'all connect, whoever this is. Whoever this is in the middle that thought they could just come back in like a fucking doggy door and shit, it's a wrap on that shit, G. Okay, I'll see you when it's time to switch the kid over or do the custody thing or pick him up, drop him off or whatever. But that's about it, G. And he look like he getting old enough to get in the car and I ain't got to say shit to your ass. Timmy look old enough to, you know what I mean? He know it's his weekend with his daddy. Okay, I ain't got to do shit. He got a cell phone and everything. I talk to Timmy, Timmy tell the daddy that, you know, like I don't fuck with him. Yeah. Somebody you're able to sever uh, ties with completely, either because your kids are old enough now or uh, someone else new has come. You know what I mean? And you're like really in love with this person or you're really into this person. It's like there's no way in hell you ever go backwards. Her back turned to this person. She's very happy with whoever this is or whoever's coming. Divine feminine shit now. Oh, we girl. There is a little kid. If it's not a little kid, this person's a lot younger than you that's watching you, girl. So some of y'all are attracting very young men. 
Okay, like damn, like he could be like 18, 19 type shit, you know, like damn girl, you like 30 something. And he own you girl, or however old, okay? I feel like some of these men old enough to, uh, young enough, yeah, to be a son. Okay? Yeah, young enough to be your daddy, old enough to fuck your mama. Yeah, some about two chains. Okay? <laughs> Somebody's a basketball player. Or some about basketball. This was on the Above the Rim soundtrack. Well, it just went off. That SWV song. Yeah. Yeah, you see how it switched? Now they're playing Mary J. Blige. Her shit kind of always like break up music because this is when I found out you were leaving me. I couldn't sleep thinking about all the things we've been through. Uh, I think this is Pretty Memories is the name of this song, but this the one in the middle. You don't remember it like that. Like now somebody, it feels like now somebody wants you and they making up in their head like some type of romantic uh, or fantasizing something like uh, that y'all went through that I don't feel like it's true, G. I don't feel like it was that good for you or you or or it was like that that experience was like that for you. You know? So somebody could be like, um, how could you leave me? How could you do this? And you like, you never called me back, motherfucker. What do you mean? How could I leave you? You never came through. What are you talking about? Like we were never really well, you never took it there. This somebody's losing their mind out here, G. Somebody could be romanticizing something divine feminine that didn't even really get off the ground. It's like you went on a date with somebody one time, G. You know what I mean? Or or let's, I mean, shit, yeah, like you went on a date with somebody one time. Maybe you were into this person. Maybe this person was into you. But somebody wasn't into the other person. The person that wasn't into the other person is now the person talking about, how could you leave? It's like, well, you weren't into me. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's usually when people leave, when people aren't into them or they don't like them or it's not working out. People go, most normal people, same people, move on. So this must mean this person used to karmic bitches that chase them. Because this person is surprised that you left when they say, get the fuck on. What kind of shit? And they might not have said, like, get the fuck on, but their actions, the energy said, get the fuck on. So you did. Somebody like, I didn't really mean leave. What the hell? Somebody don't say what they mean and mean what they say out here. If they say any motherfucking thing, G. And you don't operate like that. You looking for a real motherfucking man or a real woman, divine masculine. You know what I mean? That communicates in this bitch. Okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody all tight about that shit. Yeah, this damn sure could be a baby's daddy. You could have two kids with this person. But now all we have is memories. I wish you changed your way soon enough. Yeah, so we could be together. You just don't understand good love. Mm -hmm. So now all we have is memories. Yeah. Ooh. Girl, it feel like uh somebody getting done the way that they did you, but you're not doing this on purpose. It's like I just moved on and I'm happy. You know what I mean? And somebody's just like, how fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Don't you know all the good times we had when I never called you back and I left you on red and I cheated on you? Don't you remember all the good times, Divine Feminine? That's, that's, I, I'm, that's what I'm picking up on, so I don't know how good they were. For you, because this person does know what they did to you, and somehow they feel like those were good times. Like, what? Or somebody feels like because you're the mother of their children, you should wait on them. Like, you shouldn't lay with any other man. You have my children. Like, so? <laughs> you wouldn't have children with another bitch. Remember that? Or you left, or whatever. You ain't seen your kids in umpteen however many motherfucking what? What are you talking about, sir? Okay? Somebody out here crazy, G. Like, the way they think is like, they're crazy, G. Wow, I don't even have no motherfucking chill wrong, but this baby daddy crazy, G, okay? This motherfucker nuts, bro. Put some on this man with this kid. He think he be running shit, like at a whole nother house. What the fuck? Couldn't run shit when you was here, though. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't do none of the shit that you want to do outside of the house. Now somebody want to take charge and act like you they person and all this, male or female, I don't know. Now they want to call rank and shit and all this other shit. But when you wanted them to, you know what I mean? Or when they had the opportunity, they act like they didn't want to be there or have that title. And you're like, badge. Now somebody like, what about my tag? <laughs> what about my badge and my tag? Like, didn't you turn it in? Didn't you turn your badge in? Says Divine Feminine. Yes, he did, girl. Somebody think they still work there. <laughs> okay? It's like this type of shit. It's weird. Put something on this man here. 
strange ass man. Okay? This is like, girl, they said some of y'all, like, uh, this is a baby's uh, child's father, right? And, like, y'all share custody with, like, some kids. And he get mad now when he get, first he fought you for custody of the kid. This when you were single, right? Let's say there was no man. He taking you to court back and forth. You got to fight him for custody and child support and all this shit. And the judge is like, it's 50-50. You like, okay, fine. So he get Timmy half of the time. I get Timmy half of the time. He like, ha ha, bitch, right? Says his man. You like, well, guess I'll find something to do with the other 50% of my time. Now that Timmy's not here 100% of the time, he's with his dad. And you meet somebody, bitch. You like, cool. Now I see why I needed that extra 50% of the time. Like, shit, I got half of my life to go out, date, do this, do that, because Timmy with his daddy now, right? You living your best life. Guess who mad now? The person who fought you for the 50% of custody. It's like, ain't that what you wanted? You wanted to take half of the time. You said that you wanted Timmy with you half the time. You won that. So now that half of the time you have Timmy, shit, I'm dating whoever the fuck, this fine-ass man. Now your baby daddy mad and shit. That you spending your free time with somebody else. What you supposed to do? Sit at home by yourself while he has custody of Timmy and just knit socks and shit, bitch? What is this? Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> it's like somebody gave you a, a free pass to go out and do your thing. It's like good looking out. Had you never motherfucked me, I would have never met the love of my life, says Divine Feminine. Had you never fought me for that custody of uh, Timmy, I would have never got this rest, relaxation, been able to enjoy myself, start my business. Like somebody seeing you come up off of something that was supposed to make you feel low. Somebody that wanted to make you feel low or left you with some shit like that or ghosted you with some shit like that. It was the best thing that ever happened and I mean that shit. It provided you some like energy, some time, some space some reflection, some healing. It offered you something that worked out and this person pissed off. It wasn't supposed to happen like that. You were supposed to be down and out, bitch. Okay, you were supposed to be down and out, not out here meeting people and connecting and shit. Yeah, but you did though. And somebody is all in their emotions, all in their email bag, okay? Put some on this man now. People got their noise, Manoeva. They really do. This is my convent car, but this is the house. It's like the star here. Hierophant. Yeah, you're going to marry this person, this first one. But yeah, y'all going to live together and everything. Side note. Yeah, this is somebody, uh, four of wands. This is somebody you had a relationship with. If Side note, if you have a spiritual platform, you are being watched. Okay. Uh, some type of platform where you prophesy, do tarot, any type of fore fore foretelling, not fortune telling. Foretelling, they said. Yeah, future prediction, psychic something. Your channel is being watched. Uh, either by your baby daddy, his whole family. I told you, there go the family right there. The family, the baby daddy, or it's like some feds. But for the majority of y'all, it's like a baby daddy or some man or his family or some shit like that or his baby mama. It's like all this shit. And you done moved the fuck on. This like your ex-in-laws, okay, stalking your ass. And you like, I swear I'm married. This is my second marriage, unfortunately, but fortunately, because I love him, right? It's like that old in-law stalking you, G, and your new man. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. This doesn't feel like your family, because it's giving me family here, and this is a family you created with someone. Like I said, a child's father, child's mother, or this is somebody that went and created a family with someone else. Right? Instead of you, or you did create a family with this person, but they chose somebody else. You know the drill, right? Chose another broad, had a child with that with that broad or whatever, and this man's still watching you. Like, didn't you pick Tatiana? Why the fuck is you still over here? And you're watching me be happy with someone else. What is wrong with you? It's like someone comes down to just torture themselves to come see you. They, like, get in their bag every time, G. So you looking better, you're dating, you making money, got a good job. You could have just got a house, did something with your hair, some shit like that, okay? Every time whoever this man is that thought you was going to be down and out because he told you to get the fuck on, right? Every time this man come look at you, he gets sad. So shit. He send other people. Like, go see what she doing. Go see him. You could have blocked this person. This person sending other people. That's why I said family members, cousins, kids, and shit. And they coming back like, damn, she looking good, dad. <laughs> or she looking good, cuz I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I mean, they, this like uh, somebody reporting back to him. Like, you want the good news or the bad news, right, to this man that stalked you. He like, give me the good news. Like, well, she still look good. Okay, I'm like, well, what's the bad news? She look good with somebody else. Shit, she got a man now. <laughs> this like this type of shit. Like, oh, wow. It's like, girl, somebody whole bubble about to be boop, 
burst, okay, in the next seven days. I feel like it's burst already. If it's not burst by the middle of the next seven days, right, by Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, this person going to find something out, okay, about you. This person could be actually looking outside your house. Like, uh, this could be, I don't know, somebody, it's a stakeout outside somebody's house, too. Side note, that's like some legal shit. But somebody could actually be driving around your home, bitch, okay? And this is somebody that told you to get the fuck on. You know what I mean? Told you to go home, so you did. Why are you at my house now? If you told, what? I could have just stayed at your house if you was going to stalk me at mine, says you, Divine Feminine. It's like, I mean, you could have just, why didn't you just say you wanted me when you had the chance, says Divine Feminine. This person didn't want to. They wanted you to chase them or something, and you don't do that. So you left. So now this person going to stalk you and shit. It's like you didn't do what someone wanted you to do. I don't know what it is they wanted you to do. Call a bunch of times, stalk, compete with some bitches, uh, cry. Fall over in the middle of the street, my neck and my back type shit. I don't know, okay? Uh, pour more love into them and you just never get nothing back and keep doing that shit. I don't know what somebody thought you were going to do. But you damn sure did the motherfucking opposite, okay? And somebody is bewildered out here, okay? They're fucking flabbergasted. Like, how, Sway? How? Yeah. The spirit of God is out here, too. So he's bringing two people together. So that's what this person is really watching God work uh, through you, on you, through someone else, uh, bringing two people together and all this shit. Basically, this person right here, whoever this is, this man's fine on you, basically uh, feels like he's about to watch somebody take his spot, G. So there's somebody else that's coming for the number one spot, and they get it. And somebody gonna feel like number two. I'm boyfriend number two. Yeah, because the first one, he don't really seem like he know what to do. But, I mean, I don't really feel like that's true. This ain't even, that's why I said somebody romanticizing or saying they boyfriend number two. No, you, your boyfriend nothing, G. Your boyfriend never, 1990 never, G, no. It's like somebody's still trying to claim you. Or claim some type of title or she was mine first or, well, that's still my baby mama. So, as long as he know that that's, you know, like this type of man and shit. Like, man, shut your ass up. Now you want to claim me after I get with another dude, you fucking simp. You know, that's some whack ass shit. Now I'm your baby mama. Now I'm your baby mama and I'm always going to be yours. But before I had this man, you was telling everybody you wasn't sure it was your baby, won't paternity test and all that shit. Now that I got a man, now you want to claim me and shit? Shut your bitch ass up. Whoever this man is, is a bitch. Okay? He is. He pissing me off too, girl. I don't even have kids, G. This feel like a punk fuck baby daddy, G. For real. Okay? Or some man that like have kids with somebody else or a whole relationship with somebody else that don't want to be there. You know what I mean? And, and just left you sitting there. You know what I mean? And then watch you move on to someone else and then be like, how dare you? I thought you wanted to be with me. Like, but you still laid up with another bitch. What are you talking about? Like, what, what, what the fuck is wrong with you, G? The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. Woo! Lord have mercy. I told you somebody feel like you one of the homies. <laughs> okay? I'm telling you. Uh, whoever your person is that you're going to end up being with. I mean, I know we only got homies and homeboys, but this is like... You know, his one of his bros or his pals or whatever, friends or whatever. Your man is going to feel like that about you, which means y'all can kick it and have real honest conversations. That doesn't mean they won't be difficult and hard conversations, but I feel like you're not emotional like that. I feel like some man more emotional than you, okay? For real, for real. This this other man that's stalking you. He real emotional, G, but he more emotional than you, G, you know? Maybe that's why I was picking up on you hanging around mostly men. I don't pick up you're an emotional woman. You connect more with men. Whoever this is, like, be on this man stalking you, be on, like, some woman shit, G. So he could come from a family full of women or always around women. But it's real moist, G. It's real Duncan Hinesy and shit. Like, you know? <laughs> it's real like that. And that ain't your steez. That's the ones I'm picking up on. You know? Especially when, uh, when you were looking for that emotion and they didn't give it to you. And now it's kind of like, you know? Like, bitchy, I don't know, what's one? It's like someone's just doing it just to fuck some shit up. Like, you're just saying that because you see me happy or with someone else or moved on or making money or do, looking better or doing, well, you know, like this type of shit. Like, it's why you want to claim it and, and act like you're emotional and you care. Now you want to pour out all this care and shit. Shut your ass up is what you're going to say in the next seven days, Okay. It's something about a, uh, maybe this person's watching multiple men. You could be dating. You know what I mean? It's not exclusive with anyone, but you're meeting men that are way better than this one, G. 
It's like every time somebody see you, you know what I mean? Like date or out or something. It's like with somebody that this person wishes they could be. This type of shit. So some man could be intimidated by the man or the men that you're dating right now, G. Okay? When you wanted his ass first. Like, you don't want to put yourself in that situation. I wouldn't have never even met these men. Had you done what you were supposed to do and we, you know, worked out our shit. I wouldn't even be interested in anyone else but you. But you told me to get the fuck on, remember? Or get the fuck out, leave the house, or whatever the hell. Remember that? So I did. And I'm glad I did. Somebody's upset that they're, that you're glad that this happened. That has to be what this is. You don't get mad, get glad. Yeah, you didn't get mad, you got glad. Yeah, it's fucking trash. It's basura. Shit. Somebody could be Latino, Latina, for sure. Shout out to y'all in the house, okay? Or that's y'all being stalked by a baby daddy. Or, yeah. This one for sure at your house driving by your house. If you're Latina and got a crazy baby daddy and you dating somebody new, yeah, that motherfucker coming by your house. Or some with some his family or some crazy ass shit watching you and stalking your ass. Lord have mercy. That's my convent card too. Yeah, so watching the plat platforms, not just mine, but this is just will be my platform, but this is somebody's platform. But it's a lover watching your platform. If you do anything on like YouTube or TikTok and all that shit, it's a lover and his whole family on that motherfucker, okay? This person want to get back with you, but yeah, there's it's something like sick in their spirit or something's wrong. Like... I feel like whatever this is has come over this person since they found out that you separated from them. Like, this is like somebody, like, a, like snapping, well, and we be picking up on oxygen in lifetime, but not snapping like that, but, like, mental psychosis or, that's why I said they started, you remember in, um, if you saw Acrimony, you remember how, uh, after he got with the woman, like, after he left Taraji, right, he got with the new woman, right, and they had moved in and he had made the, and he was gonna marry the woman and all that, and she kind of snapped. Remember, she was just sitting up in the house drinking and on that girl's social media, stalking her, sending her harassing messages and all this shit. If y'all saw how Taraji got an acrimony, I don't remember what stage it was called. Because remember, they had them little, like, uh, they had different, I think it was like nouns or something to describe, like, at what stage she was during acrimony. But it was close to the last one where she just fucking, if she was irrational. So somebody's family could be telling them, like, you're going a little crazy over this girl or over this man. You know what I mean? Like, you need to calm down, uh, let it go. They moved on. You need to move on and just do you. It's over. And somebody will not let that shit go. Yeah. Ooh-wee. Be careful, girl. Or oh, boy. It's a crazy somebody out here. Put some on this emotion now, because that's where all this shit stemming from. Mm-hmm. We saw what happened at the end of Acrimony. Told you. <laughs> Told you, G. Yeah, because he found a new lover. Yeah, he, and she felt like that girl stole him. Like, you gonna just take my man? Like, remember she was like, I stuck by you the whole time you was building that battery and all that shit, and then you gonna go and be with this new woman? And he like, but you told me to get the fuck out. And she did. Y'all remember Taraji put that man out. And he was trying to explain to her, I wasn't cheating on you. I was doing this. I was doing the battery. I was doing this. And she like, get the fuck out. He like, I mean, okay. So somebody could have been like, you don't have shit, Divine Feminine. So that shit ain't going to work, right? If you saw acrimony, your battery ain't going to work. So whatever you've been working on, whatever you're trying to be, whatever you, and I'm saying this, that's what this person was saying. Your shit working. But I'm saying that's why this person was tired or didn't want to fuck with you. You either didn't have enough, didn't have something, they were tired of something, or you know what I mean? Something like that. Or you didn't fit some mold, some criteria, some shit like that. And they told you to get the fuck on. You're like, cool. And I feel like you find somebody uh, that believes in you, that supports you. You too, Divine Masculine. And y'all end up getting together. And that's when this motherfucker busts a whole nutty. Okay? And they feel like, how dare you? I was down with you when you didn't have nothing, when you were trying to get your business off the ground, when you were doing this, doing this, and doing that. And you're like, no, you weren't. You were tired of it. Actually, you didn't believe in me at all. You didn't think I was shit. You like the other bitch better is what you said. You didn't, you know, wait on me to lose the baby weight or you didn't wait for me to graduate school or get my business off the ground or get well or anything. You just said, fuck me and shit and, and got tired. 
and left or told me to leave, so I did, says you, divine feminine or divine masculine. Now somebody feels like they don't see it like that. They see it as they were supporting you, okay? And Taraji did pay the bills and all that shit in acrimony. She was supporting him financially, but spiritually, emotionally, you know what I mean? Mentally and shit, she wasn't really supporting him like that. And that's why she couldn't hold on to him or didn't want him. This is like this type of shit. Somebody, it's the Mike Jones effect, pretty much. I said all that to say it's the Mike Jones effect and some shit over. We saw that lady drown at the end. That anchor got tied to her foot uh, and she slipped off that boat. If you saw Acrimony, if you have not seen it, okay? Which I feel like most of my people have. Okay, um, I feel like black and brown people have seen it. If you are a vanilla king or a vanilla queen and you have not seen Acrimony, okay, you need to watch that movie. It is uh, got some, you know, our, it's our culture, so you got to understand, you know. But you get the gist of it, okay? You're you going to be like, what in Sam fucking Hill? Okay, what in Sam fucking Hill? Mm -hmm. uh, someone knows that it's over. Someone feels like they're dying. Like, it feels like death. It's like, you know, what is this? The devil with the hermit? Yeah, obsessively watching you. Mm -hmm. Feeling like if they have to or they can't stop or something. Somebody feels like they got cheated out of, some, out of you, a relationship with you. But this person is totally fucking bonkers, G. Whoever this is, that is not true. They cheated themselves. Maybe they did. They did get cheated, but they cheated themselves. Or they, you know what I mean? It's like, girl, let me see what's wrong with this person before we go to Patreon. Okay. They told me don't ask that here. Ask it on Patreon. Okay. Because something wrong, G. Something wrong. Yeah, let's go to Patreon. We're about to go there. If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube to follow us on Patreon. If not, Divine Feminine, that's been your reading, girl. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Feminine. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my trip in Ontario. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear, your lifelike deck, and your doll face tarot deck at thegettlenun.com. And I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.